Beth from Rock Your Notebook, and I'm here to talk 2020 plans. Originally, I was going to go Hobonichi everything. I was going to do my weeks. I was going to do um, my cousin, and I was going to do my A6. And I was thinking and thinking, and as the year was going on, I was noticing that there were a lot of things that just were not working for me with the Hobonichi setup. Um, I am still attached to my weeks and I'll do another video on that in a little while and show you what I've got set up for that. Um, but then I started researching and researching and you know, just like a crazy woman looking and I came across the Jib Jibun Tetsu. And I'm probably not saying that right, but whatever. So what I did was I ordered it. And um, I ordered what they call a uh, starter kit. So the starter kit comes with what they call, and i am got a lot of stuff in there already in the idea book. It comes with an idea book. It comes with the colorful... Yeah, as you can see, I'm I'm liking it. It comes with a colorful, um, I don't know, the colorful spread, which a lot of people say they don't like. I personally like it, but um, I also ordered the Biz refill. And I did this because I was hearing that the Mio paper is an improvement from this paper. So I've been playing in this one and testing it out and I have decided that I am loving the whole thing, the whole jib boom touch show. I love, um, I'm starting to, to like actually schedule things and I find, I'm finding that I'm wasting less time because things are on the schedule. I know what I want to get done that day and I'm trying to stick to that schedule and that's working for me and I'm being more productive. So block scheduling, time scheduling, whatever you wanna call it, that's what I have been doing and it has been working for me. So it has the schedule, it has your sleeping hours or your night hours kind of like bolded. Uh, it has um, like a weather icons here. I forget what you're supposed to use these other two little lines for. Um, it has the moon phases, which I absolutely love. And then it has these little boxes down here with, you know, happy faces, meh faces, and sad faces. And then it has the sunrise and the sunset time. And I don't know what the star is for. Maybe like your highlight of the day, which I think is what I will start putting there in that space. I haven't been using it because I was like, I don't know what to use it for. Anyways, so the starter kit comes with the planner, the idea book, and then the life book, which I just put on the strings, but I'm gonna take that back off and put it back in this uh, vinyl cover thing that it comes with, which I actually really like. I have to say for some reason in the Chic Sparrow, cause that's what this is, is the Chic Sparrow B6 Slim. I thought it was gonna be like a perfect fit. And I'm finding that these these notebooks, I don't know if my elastics are too tight. I don't know, but they're not fitting quite as nicely as I would like them to. But anyways, it comes with this life book and it's supposed to like go through your life and your, you know, like life's dreams, a hundred wishes list, um, your personal motto, which I like, your life plan. Um, and I think these are the years, I don't know, again, on jetpens.com. It has um, like a breakdown of everything. Your January, you know, your anniversaries. So like your birthdays and your little anniversaries you could put here, which, you know, those don't change, right? The Japan travel map again, a world travel map, which I thought is really cool. It'd be fun to journal on this page. And then it's literally supposed to go through your life. So your news from zero to... Um, Four. And I thought this would be cool to like kind of go back and see what was going on in the world back when I was born and like filling in stuff. 
and then five to nine and 10 to 14. And you know, I just had a really great idea as I was talking. I'm trying not to make this video too long, but I think it would be cool to grab my daughter a life book, you know, and see what it turns into. Um, she's 11, so that would be kind of cool. And I might just do that for Christmas. Anyway, so that's uh, that part, and I think that's it. It's literally like your news and all kinds of news all the way till you die. That's morbid, right? And then you have a family tree, which, I mean, you don't need to be able to read Japanese to know that, and they have lots of pages for a family tree. An emergency contact list. Uh, what else is in here? Password hint list, which I might actually use, like, hints. Um, financial management. And then a medical record, which for some people, this would not be enough. Like, you need more. Then I did a pen test. And so the Pilot Extra Fine, my fountain pen, and um, my document ink. And how those went through. I have been using my favorite pen, which is this Pilot Envelope Writing Pen. Um, I have not switched over to like using a fountain pen yet. So we'll see how that goes. Then this is my setup. This was actually the subscription box. Not this month, but the month before. <laughs> um, and I absolutely love this cover and vellum. So I'm using it for myself and I'm using this like as an extra notebook for me. And then there's the biz, which this is the one that I'm like taking seriously and like really setting up to be ready for 2020. So I have been watching all kinds of videos and trying to find out and figure out what's the best thing for me. Excuse me, I had to yawn. So I saw somebody do this and if I can find the video, I will link it down in the description box below. But I took a transparency and some washi tape, this awesome washi tape. Um, and then you can put like little post-it notes and things like that on here. Um, I have this and I might, <laughs> I might just cause I'm a little crazy. Let's see. Um, this vinyl was in this month's box. And I kind of, I really like it and I have extra. So, right, why not, right? Like, I love coffee. So, and it's holographic. Like, who doesn't like holographic, awesome looking vinyl? Ugh. It's not working. There we go. Hopefully, this works out well and I don't rip the book because <laughs> I would be so upset if I did that. Yay, it's not ripping the cover. All right. This will stick really nice once it's like really good. This is like uh, rubbery, so it's not working for rubbing on very well, but it's on there, it's good. So I love that, okay. Um, again, this is a piece of pretty acetate that I got from scrapbook.com. It's got these stars on it, the Galaxy Washi, and I will be filling some more um, little post-it notes in there. And then it says how to use the Jibun Tetsu, but you know, it's in Japanese. Google Translate does work with a camera now, so. That's uh, good to know. This is like a sample planning of how to plan. Then a year at a glance, and then another year at a glance. And this I'm going to use uh, for daily tracking of income coming in. Um, and we'll see how we do with that. Then your dreams, and then I put the little tabbies on here. 
your money plan. This was here, me testing out. I wanted to see about watercolors and if the paper would handle it, and it does because I was worried about that. I do like to watercolor in my planners. And again, this is supposed to be their Mio paper, which I don't know what that means, but it's really thin, but it's different from Tomoe. Um, it's not coated. And my ink and my mild liners seem to be working better than they work on Tomoe paper. I love Tomoe, don't get me wrong. Um, but I am really loving um, this Mio paper so far. Well, we'll see. Uh, your recommendation list, so things that people recommend for you to do and try, and then it has a little checkbox for okay, like either you did it or you liked it. A book list, which is something that I'm really focusing on for 2020. A movie list, which I think this is cool because I always forget the movies that I do see and I would like to start like documenting the movies that we see with the family and stuff like that. Gifts received and given. A promise list, which would work really well for me with the shop. Um, and even the kids, sometimes I make a promise and I'm like, oh, I forgot. So jotting it down and being like, okay, I did it, I came through, that would be good. And then some blank tracking, you can put whatever you want in here. And then this is the Gantt chart uh, slash habit tracker, um, which I like. So you put your habit here and then, you know, the days of the month. And I, I kind of really am digging that and will be using that. And that is for the whole year. And then you fall into um, calendar months and then you have these check boxes here on the bottom and on the side. I don't know that I need them on the bottom, so I might start covering those with washi tape, you know, just to get some life into the book. We'll see. Um, but I, it's, it's just, it's got like a little bit of everything, you know, it seems to be really perfect for me. And then again, I already talked about the weekly setup where, uh, your sleeping hours or your night hours are bolded. And then, um, you have weather tracking, you have the sunrise and sunset. I'm assuming this is for the highlight of your day, how you're feeling like a little journaling spot or whatever. I really love this check mark thing here going on. And then um that's it. That that is the Jibon Techo. I love it. It's amazing. I'm very, very happy with it. Um and I've got everything in my Chic Sparrow. I'm starting to get kind of attached to this one so I might be hard for me to move into this one but I've got this one I'm trying to make it all pretty and perfect for when January 1st comes along I will finish out uh, December in here and then I don't know I'll keep it for something I'm just not sure what uh, maybe for testing out new planning ideas or maybe extra habit tracking I don't know but I love it and what I did here, and it's hard to see, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera, my vinyl cover, I actually punched a little hole here and here in the bottom so that the elastics uh, wouldn't get too crazy with um, getting messed up or anything. All right, so everything fits in the Chic Sparrow. Again, this is a B6 Slim, and oh, it also comes with that pencil board. I don't need this. I don't know why I have this still in here. It comes with this pencil board that has like an elastic on it, and it's meant so you don't really need a leather cover for this thing, and you could just take it like that, and that would be your, that would be your setup, but you know, you know us and our traveler's notebooks. So what I've done for right now, as I'm continuing to stalk YouTube and find things out, is I've just got everything in here. And I think um, on Chic Sparrow's part, this is pretty awesome because I have my notebook and vellum, 
the whole setup of the Jibun Tacho and then the business one in the back. And it, it holds it and I've got no issues here um, with doing that. It's perfect. All right, I have talked your ear off. I've talked to you a lot. This is my 2020 planner setup part of it. <laughs> I'm going to show you the rest of my stack in another video because I've already talked to you for like 15 minutes. Alrighty, that's it for now. Bye.